Hello. Nice to meet you again. So, let's reflect on the EVO session, learning how to collaborate with our students. Some of the highlights about this session, well, I've met colleagues from all over the world. I had the opportunity to work with them and collaborate online and to team up as well. We learn some interesting things, uh, use some interesting tools, and I will definitely try and apply what I've learned in my English classes. So let's answer the first question. How did I team up? Uh, when I joined the EVO session during week one, I was a lone player, a single player, and it was okay. In week two, we got some assignments uh, given by Dr. Nelly that required teaming up. So I needed to find a team. I contacted a Croatian colleague. Uh, she is also part of this session, asking her to join the Padlet group, which seemed to me like a nice, hardworking group. As a team member, I faced, faced some challenges because I had to function in a team, meaning that if we agreed on a distribution of tasks within a team, I had to comply with that and try to finish the tasks at, on time, which didn't always suit me because sometimes there was lack of time to finish up the things um, as, as we agreed in our Zoom meetings of, Padlet, of the Padlet team. Uh, so what challenges will my students face? I expect my students to face pretty much the same challenges like I face. Not all of them are team players. Uh, they prefer to do things by themselves. And this is even more so now because of the online and distance learning. And they pretty much, they don't work in teams or in groups, but they work alone. The same applies when we have, um, when we have um, a school in the real classroom, because we ha have to keep the distance among us. And they are not allowed to work in groups or in teams. Hopefully, um, this will change and we will be able to apply what we learn. I'm certainly going to use the collaborative platforms in my work, like the Padlet, Wakelet, Canva, Flipgrid. And I will certainly try using the Google Slides, the Google Forms, and the Google Docs too. Uh, what have I learned about myself? Well, I learned that I don't like teamwork that much, but I can function well on a team. I'm a single player and I want to be responsible for my own work and my own actions. But I enjoyed working with the ladies from the Padlet group. As I said earlier, I will use Google Slides for collaborative presentations on a debate topic with my students exactly like we did uh, during this session. I will use Google Forms for surveys, questionnaires, quizzes, short tests. And I will use Google Docs for icebreaking games, maybe for projects in pairs or in groups, especially if students need to add some links to their presentations. So hopefully I have answered all the questions needed. Um, I really enjoyed being a part of this EVO uh, session, collaboration tools uh, to use with the students and I hope to see you in some other sessions organized by Eva. Bye-bye.